while I was at shooting the promo with Anderson, I got the news that Jiggy passed away. Jiggy, R.I.P. And I have y'all. to say, if Jiggy dying, oh. and I know everyone says this about every bad thing that happens about in 2020, 2020. Like, that's the most 2020 thing ever. But I have to say, yeah, it's inter- Jiggy's been sick, I think, for a while or frail, and so I feel like. You know, it, Jiggy was in frail health for a while, yes. but it 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 really. I left Lisa a message yesterday, and I started. I was really getting very emotional, and I have to say, Jiggy for two reasons. Jiggy really made people happy. Like I'm saying that with no irony or anything. Like Jiggy was truly the mascot of Bravo, really, and. Especially in those first few years of Beverly Hills Housewives, like mascot, Jiggy yeah. was such a superstar, and she would bring him to watch What Happens Live. And anyone who saw him, whether on TV or in person, this dog they went nuts. I mean, this was like a very famous dog. He made people so happy, and Lisa so was very generous in sharing him with people and letting mm-hmm. people hold him, like. It was really a sweet thing. And then it also made me, I'm a very nostalgic person. I get very nostalgic about things. And it made me very nostalgic about the early days of the Housewives of Beverly Hills and just meeting Jiggy and meeting Lisa and meeting all of them. And and the early days of Watch What Happens Live and her bringing Jiggy. And I dressed as Jiggy for Halloween one year in a costume that the late, great Chris March made. And I looked insane. And he was Lisa Vanderpump. It was so wild. And it also reminded me of, and I put this in my first book because it was so crazy that... uh, that Jiggy, Lisa Vanderpump sent me a framed picture of Jiggy for the clubhouse, which, by the way, is still in the clubhouse. <laughs> and it, I think it's still behind me, maybe. Yeah. I mean, that's that's been like 10 years. And so um, Jiggy, uh, the picture was there. And don't you know, and I'm mm-hmm. sure that I have these emails because I kept kind of the wildest emails. I get an email. I believe I got several emails from Joy oh, Jerry because oh, she, she had a like, little dog, Ginger. Yeah, Ginger Zarin, and she yeah. felt that Ginger should be there. And she was. I, I, I love Jill Zarin, by the way. But she was like, I mean, do you have a problem with Ginger? And don't you think Ginger should be in the clubhouse? You should have had a one-on-one with Ginger. Ginger had not. Um. Ginger Risen. had not he dominated the, yes. the attention of everyone. We loved it that Ginger would go up, lick Jill up the nose, mm-hmm. but it wasn't the same thing. No, no. Um, so it was so funny. She was on me about, and I wouldn't put the picture up of Ginger. I was like, Jill, I- I'm not doing it. Like, I-, I just, I'm sorry. Like, there's only one Jiggy. Anyway, it was so Let me funny. ask you this. Is I, my wooden duck still on this Yes, set? of course it is. Okay. Just and I also sure. just want to pay reference to another great moment in Watch What Happens Live history, which was our live New Year's Eve special. Were you there for that, John? No, that was the year before. That was we married Grandma mm. Wrinkles oh my God. and Jiggy. Grandma Wrinkles was Dina Manzo's hairless cat. And we performed a wedding ceremony. I (laughs) officiated between just a huge testicle, a long dog with a tail, and the cat. We need to post (laughs) that on. We need to post that on on the Watch What Happens Live Instagram. It's so nuts, Um, and so uh, there you go. I don't know. I mean, long live Jiggy. Long live Jiggy. Long live Jiggy. And thank you for being such a great sport, Jiggy. Honestly. G- really? I mean, tr- truly a star. Truly I mean, and, and some, you know, yes. some ginger didn't rise to stardom. Like, you know, natural it's stars, so you know, ri- so rise, true. you know? Yes, it's true. 